wouldn't hold a striped skunk because striped skunks do that thing that we all know they know how to do. And they've done it to the dog and they've done it to the neighbor's dog. And that is that they can shoot an oily musk 10 feet into the face of an attacker. Hello from the Randall Oak Zoo, West Dundee in Illinois, not too far outside of Chicago. My name is Kath Ellinghausen. I'm the manager of interpretation and recreation services here at the Randall Oak Zoo. And I've got with me one of our most recognizable animals in all of North America, a skunk. But not just any skunk, this is honey skunk. And I'm holding honey skunk because honey skunk's been descented. So we have de-stunk the skunk. Skunks are found all across North America. So they're found from Southern Canada through United States into Northern Mexico. Striped skunks are easily recognizable because they have a stripe down their back and a stripe across their face. Skunks have very few natural predators because lots of wild animals know what the black and the white means and that's called warning coloration. Kind of like monarch butterflies because they've got the orange and they're toxic to birds. Well, lots of wild animals know that this means trouble. But sometimes your dog at night does not know what means trouble. And before skunks spray, they give you plenty of warning. The first thing that they'll do is they'll paddle their feet. They'll stop their feet on the ground to let you know that they are afraid and that trouble's coming. And then they'll lift their tail in the air. And there's even a little skunk called a spotted skunk who'll actually do a complete headstand before they spray. Look that one up online, it's pretty cute. But then what she'll do is she'll lift her tail and she'll turn her back to her attacker and she will spray this oily musk. Stinky, 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 10 feet into the face of her attacker. Now, if you're a bird of prey, an owl or a hawk, they don't mind so much. But if it gets on your pup, you've got some trouble. Skunks are nocturnal animals and that means that they, they come out at night. So what's the name for an animal that comes out during the day? Diurnal, D-I-U-R-N-A-L is what we are. She's a nocturnal animal and she hunts for the insects and the mice in the nighttime. And she's got very long claws that she uses for digging up lots of animals. And her back feet, she's got big thick pads on her back feet so she can stay active during the winter time. Honey skunk is a rather large skunk, but they range in weight from four pounds to about 12 pounds. They lose about 50% of their weight during the winter. They don't truly hibernate, but they do burrow up and keep themselves safe while winter comes, and they will lose about half of their body weight during the winter time. Because honey skunk is kept in the barn during the winter time and she's kept nice and warm, she doesn't lose a lot of weight, but she does eat a little less during the winter time than she does during the springtime and the summer and the fall. They've got very long claws that they use for digging. They're mostly insectivores, so they like to eat lots and lots of insects. Her favorite food are superworms, which are long little insect larvae that turn into beetles as they grow up. Honey is almost five years old. She'll be having our fifth birthday here at the zoo coming up shortly. Honey skunk is one of our traveling animal ambassadors for a number of different reasons. One is that how often do you get a chance to pet a skunk? The second reason why she's one of our traveling ambassadors is that she is very valuable to the ecosystem and people can be afraid of urban wildlife, but she's very, very valuable for eating the mice and the grubs out of your yard. They also like to eat your garden if you're kind enough to plant them a garden. She's in the same group as honey badger. And you can see on her face that she's got this low sloped face that looks a little bit like her cousin, just doesn't care. 